joy of cinema and the best part is you get to meet film personalities right now i have with me rockstar filmmaker imtiaz ali thank you so much for speaking with doordarshan thank you yeah. great to be on doordarshan always so your experience of the festival so far it's been very nice i think uh, just the presence of many many filmmakers like myself uh, makes it a very endearing experience and you are my senior from hindu college so when does your cinematic journey started and what role did hindu college delhi university play well i was in hindu college i started a theatre group called Ipteda which still runs and I think while in Hindu I did only theatre, only plays and that really helps me even now to do the work that I am doing. And Imtiaz tell us more about the Goan connection because your first directorial venture Socha Natha was shot in Goa as well. Right, so Goa has been very nice to me. I think the portions of Socha Natha that we shot over here was very nice. I am hoping to come back to Goa to shoot very soon. And we've enjoyed your movies thoroughly whether it was Javi Met, um, the other movies, Highway, Rockstar. Uh, we were hearing your conversation. How does this writing happen? This writing just happens because it's subliminal. These are things that you think about anyway. So one day you just write, it, write them on paper. And so what do we expect next from your, your side? There's that I'm uh, planning to release in February in the coming year. I hope you like it. And one last thing, uh, we are not only we are showing live telecast of the opening ceremony, the closing ceremony, we are live through the day on all days, your master class sessions, in conversation sessions. Uh, please encourage Door Darshan viewers to also download the Prasar Bharati app News on Air. Yeah, please um, uh, download the Prasar Bharati app and watch more uh, things, videos that are being put on uh, for you from IFI. <laughs>
how best to create content and experiences for uh, cinematic virtual reality. So in order to do that, about a year, a year and a big bit ago, uh, Whistling Woods uh, got together with Reliance Geo to set up the Whistling Woods Geo, la uh, Whistling Woods Geo VR lab on campus. And over the last year, we've been uh, working to build out a curriculum for cinematic VR. So the first phase of the lab is done. We've got uh, a decent uh, curriculum in place and we will start teaching that to students come January. So then that will enable India's first generation of cinematic VR filmmakers to emerge who are well trained to create cinematic content for virtual reality. Right, amazing. Do you think the audiences in India are ready to experience the VR films and everything that's related to that, you know, oh so distant world? Uh, do you think they are ready mentally and, you know, also I would say as, as emotionally they are ready for uh, that kind of experience, do you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, it's actually not that far into the future as we'd like to think. I mean, just four years ago, there wasn't as much content being consumed on the cell phone as it is today. Today, 9 out of 10 people are watching video content on their cell phone. India has over 500 million internet connected uh, people. So all these things were unheard of, you know, 10 years ago. 10 years ago, if I would have told you that 75% of the content consumed in India is on a cell phone, nobody would have believed it. So similarly, um, you know, five years later, when VR kind of starts to gain momentum and hits the mainstream, we won't believe that five years ago that there was, you know, there was so much worry that you know VR may not become uh, mainstream but it will it we are on the verge of uh, of, uh, of of an of an addition to a fourth content viewing platform to the existing three that we had so i don't really see it as being that far into the future yes the key here is you need to have good quality content if you don't have good quality content even with all the hardware and all the internet and all the technology people will not uh, move towards the platform because they won't enjoy the content that's being played. The key is to have good quality content and that's the reason why we've set up the lab in order to create the curriculum in order to teach students. That's great. So uh, talking about you know the uh, the internet and uh, as you said technology and everything, will the subjects that uh, surround VR virtual reality films still be as potently human or will they be too far out in the future like uh, we have a lot of uh, films concentrating on different planets as you see the avengers and the marvels and the you know dc so do you f do you feel the human touch will still be intact or will that be too much of technology and you know it'll be overpowered powered by technology what's what's your view on that actually the subject of the content and the technology used to create the content are actually completely different right so it's up to the filmmaker's choice what the subject they choose in or for the content that they want to put together. VR is just the platform, it's just the technology. So for example, while we have created, there's a lot of gaming content in VR, there is a lot of uh, high-tech content in VR, there's also a lot of extremely rooted content in VR. Right. One of the projects that the VR lab is doing is that we've shot the Kumbh Mela in VR. Wow. And we're now starting to put together a, a multi-part series of various aspects of the Kumbh Mela. So the immersion, the fact that you're wearing a headset and you feel like you're at the Kumbh, adds significant value to the experience of someone who couldn't go to the Kumbh. And, you know, because it happens once every six years, and that's the Ardh Kumbh and Maha Kumbh happens every 12 years, you know, who knows, people may or may not be ever be able to go. So it's, we want to bring that immersive, very earthy, very real experience to people which is why we've gone ahead and shot it. And we've not just shot it as a location, we're also shooting it as an experience, as a narrative experience. We want to show to people what happens at the Kumbh, why does it happen, right? What's the, what's the, uh, the, the, the huge value that people derive from growing there? So we've done interviews, we've shot, uh, you know, aerial, we put the VR camera on helicopters, we've put it on wow. bridges. We've shot the army unit that's uh, kind of sent there to protect the comb. We've shot the Naga Sadhus, we've shot the Akhadas, we've shot the Shahi Snan, we've shot everything. And the idea is to now start to put this together into a, into a narrative that is both immersive as well as gives people a strong experiential understanding of the comb. So, like I said, the subject of the technology and the technology doesn't necessarily have to be the same. 
Okay, all right. Wow, that was really see a sea of knowledge that we got to get from Mr. Chaitanya Chinchlekar. So much. Thank you so much for being with us, and I'm looking forward to actually be in this immersive and experiential, you know, aura that you spoke about. Thank you so much. Most welcome. Thank you. Thank Most you, sir. Thank you. All right. Uh, so this is uh, the whole experience that we get to feel. It's innovative. It's different. It's new. It's novel. Well, Ify Fifty is all this and more. So stay tuned. Well, interesting to hear Chaitanya Chinchli Kar there, and uh, he's an actor who's known for films like Kanchi, Black and White. But I think his uh, more significant contribution now is the fact that he is championing the cause of VR films. We'll also have a, a conversation session, a workshop, in fact, on VR filmmaking, which we'll see Chaitanya Chinchlekar, Aditya Doshi, and Yang. And VR here stands for virtual reality. This is one of the new technologies that can also impact cinema. So maybe we are now heading towards the first generation of cinematic VR filmmakers. Sounds very interesting and very innovative. जी हाँ वर्चुअल रियलिटी से संबंधित एक एग्जीबिशन मल्टीमीडिया एग्जीबिशन भी लगाई गई है इफ फिफ्टी के दौरान जहाँ पर जाकर आप जो ये वर्चुअल रियलिटी है इससे संबंधित मॉडल्स और फिल्मों से जुड़ी हुई जो 1952 से लेकर 2019 तक की यात्रा है इफी की उसे प्रदर्शित किया गया है मल्टीमीडिया के माध्यम से एंड नाउ इन कॉन्वर्सेशन विदिटांत एक्टर एंड्रू लूरी With the present political dynamics going on in the world, one feature or one subject that's really attracting the filmmakers right now is the subject matter of refugees. The opening film of Ifi this year, despite the fog, tackled this subject. There is another very well-crafted film all the way from Australia, which also delves a little deeper into this issue and talks about the survival of refugees. Well, this film is Hearts and Bones. It's a debut directorial venture of very well-known documentary filmmaker Ben Lawrence. While Ben could not make it here to India, all the way from Aust you know Australia, we have the Sudanese Australian actor here with me, Mr. Andrew Lurie, who's also been nominated for an award for his. role in this film this is mr luri's first film so i'm sure the feeling is very special welcome to ifi thank you thank you very much you are coming fresh off the toronto international film festival in uh, canada how was the film received there it was actually a big event and uh, we had a lot of uh, you know things that were going on and people were so impressed by it and uh, it was so excited to be there When we were talking offline, uh, you were telling me a story about how you were cast in this film. हमारे भारतवर्ष में और पूरी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में बहुत लोगों की कहानियाँ हैं जो सालों साल स्ट्रगल करते हैं टू गेट देयर फर्स्ट रोल बट देन वी हैव सम वन लाइक एंड्रू यू नो एंड्रू यूरी एंड्रू लूरी आई एम सॉरी हु वॉज कास्ट इन दिस रोल जस्ट बिकॉज ही फिटेड द कैरेक्टर सो वेल डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट ही इज नॉट अ प्रोफेशनल कमर्शल एक्टर Tell us how the entire story unfolded. Ah uh, well, in the first place, I was actually trying to help one of our community leader because he was a good person. And then uh, one day he asked me if he could send my name uh, to the film company that who want to make a, a film. And um, he asked if it's okay to send my name, and then I accepted. I say, yeah, that's fine. and i thought it was just like anything else that uh, you give your name and at the end nothing happens but after two weeks they contacted me they sent me an email and after that uh, they said we would in touch and after uh, two weeks more uh, they sent me more detail and the date they, they scheduled the date for audition and uh, i went there you know there are so many things so there are so many people over there but in that day the time that i was located in were there were only one person in front of me and um we went they were filming and i didn't actually know and they asked me two strange questions that can you get emotional well i said getting emotional is not an easy thing to do but uh, maybe i would try if if that's the the thing that you wanted and they asked me the second question that uh you um Uh, what was the second question there uh, they said um can you sing i say well th if it comes to singing that that's my hobby 
you know, I play instrument, I sing as my hobby. So if it's needed there, uh, it's a pleasure, you know, to do that. So that's how I, I came to them, you know. But then uh, you went on, you acted in the film and you did it so well that you were nominated for an award in Australia. How cool is that? Oh, it was really cool, really cool because I, I'm, I was actually having 2,100 words, mm -hmm. more than anyone else in that film. But I'm not the most um, uh, famous, famous person in, in, in Australia in acting. There was somebody else who is very famous, so he's put ahead of me and we acted together, you know. So we, we get things from each other, you know. But the way I was thinking is, I try to play the things exactly as in my house. For instance, if a visitor comes to your house, how do you behave with a visitor? You know, you, you take time to do things with a visitor, but you, you don't shake, you don't push things around. So I try to do things as normal as it is. So I thought I was just doing my role, but I didn't know how people were watching it. I just very surprised to see that I'm nominated over there. Well, we wish you all the very best, even for your further career. But uh, I'd like to find out first time in India, first time at the 50th International Film Festival also. How is the feeling of being here? I'm really very excited to be in India because I, since I was young, I wanted to, to come to India, but I didn't know how. Um, in, in back home there in Sudan, I used to, we used to watch Indian film. Mm -hmm. we, we, yeah, we, we don't understand the words, but we just watch the way they sing, the way they do things. It's very, very nice. We enjoy, you know. Yeah. So it is a, but my younger brothers, two of them uh, graduated from here. Oh, okay. Puna, Puna. Puna. Uh, yeah, Puna. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from Pune. They are in the U.S. and, uh, you know, they know this place maybe. But for me, it's my first time to hear about Goa. I didn't, I didn't know even India has a place called Goa. Goa is the Gold Coast of India. It's a Bondi beach. But uh, since you're talking about, you know, watching Indian films in Sudan, is there any particular actor or actress whose name you might remember? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know whom you call him. He's a tall guy. Uh, he's a tall guy. We call him Anton. I think he's talking about the big B, Amitabh Bachchan. Yes. Well, yes. Amitabh Bachchan is the living icon of not only Indian cinema. I think he's world treasure now. He's already completed 50 years. And Bachchan Saab, you're traveling all over the world. And obviously, it is no exaggeration. We, we love this guy. We love this guy. Well, thank you so much for your time, Andrew Lurie. Everyone loves Amitabh Bachchan. Yeah. Especially when they're seeing they dance and, you know, moving things. Oh, people will enjoy that, doing that, you know. He's a very, very activated person. So we love him so much too. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Thank you. Right now the action has started in Black Box and therefore we are going to take you live there. The theme is workshop on VR filmmaking. VR is virtual reality. We are on the verge of creating the first VR cinematic filmmakers. And here you'll have Chaitanya Chinchlikar as one of the panelists, Aditya Doshi and Yang Zemek.